How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly connect your Bluehost domain to WordPress or Wix or basically any uh, web content management tool. And I will show you both ways as well as vice versa. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So right before we get into the video, I just want to quickly mention that we're giving away 75% off your very first Bluehost plan plus a free domain using our affiliate code link down in the description below. So if you guys want to learn more about that, be sure to check out that link as it greatly supports the channel. Now back to the video. So to actually do this is quite simple. And uh, no matter what platform you guys are on, or I should say a web content management tool, um, if it was um, WordPress or Wix, um, the steps remain the same. And all we have to do really is extract the uh, details from uh, both websites or both platforms, I should say. So. Essentially what we're doing here is getting the name server from uh, Bluehost, or I should say um, WordPress and Wix. And to do so is quite simple. Uh, by default, the name server set for um, your WordPress account would be this, ns1.wordpress.com. So th actually this one's just an example. But by default, um, it would normally be set here, assuming that you haven't configured it properly. And the same goes for Wix. Only in this case, Wix would be ns.wix.ns1.wix.com. Now, the idea here is we need to unlock um, uh, we need to unlock both DNSs to make the transfer um successful. So to do so is quite simple. If you guys are on uh, Bluehost, you would have to go to domains, make sure that your domain is unlocked, and this actually makes the transfer possible. So um, assuming that you've done both for uh, you've done that both for uh, WordPress and Wix, uh, you're good to go. Now, uh, next thing, you, the next thing that you guys need to do is log into uh, your WordPress account or your Wix account, and then you want to go over to your name server and DNS settings, and you want to basically extract this. As you can see now, this actually may vary depending on if you guys have configured it or not. So basically, follow this path here. Um, if you guys are in WordPress domains, use a domain that I own, transfer connect, and then connect. And then you want to copy this as a copy the name server. And then you want to head on over to uh, Bluehost as it's the hosting site. And you want to go go to uh, go to the domain tab and scroll down to till you see advanced tools. Now, uh, once you guys are here, you simply want to click on uh, name servers, as you can see, click on manage, and uh, just click on OK. And once this new window pops up, you simply want to click on um, add a name server and input the uh, name server that we just copied over from WordPress as well as Wix. And once you're done with that, hit save and the transfer should complete within a day. And the cool thing about this is that it's all happening live. So you can still use the website, even though um, they're making the transfer for the database and whatnot. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So right before we end the video here, I just want to quickly remind you guys that you can still get 75% off your very first Bluehost plan plus a free domain using our affiliate code link down in the description below. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.